What's up guys, I'm Mike from Stocked Up. In this video, we're gonna be covering the steps you can take to capitalize off of the next market crash. So uh, if you've been paying attention to the stock market for the past two weeks, uh, I'm sure you've noticed um, the increased talk about a potential market crash. Um, we've had a pretty choppy past two weeks, but it's been really interesting. Um, some of the leading stocks like Apple and Tesla are down significantly. Um, we had the ARK ETF, ARKK, down around 20% in the past uh, two to three weeks. And uh, we're just seeing a lot of uh, volatile but um, negative movement in the market overall right now. So it's definitely uh, worth uh, covering this topic. And you know, I just wanted to talk about uh, the steps you can take to take advantage of the next market crash. And you know, just I just want to put this out there. Nobody knows 100% um, if we're going to see a market crash um, next week or in the next two weeks, or um, we might not see a market crash until next year. Or, you know, no one knows 100% when the market crash will be, but it is important to prepare yourself um, either way. So the first thing I want to say is you got to have cash. You know, um, it, it takes money to make money, especially in the stock market. So if we do see a market crash, you're going to need to have cash on the sidelines to one, take advantage of the downwards movement, but also when these stocks fall and when they are at uh, good prices, it's going to take money to buy them up at those good prices. So um, one, make sure to have cash on the sidelines. And another thing is if we look back on past crashes, so for example, we could see that the market crashed around this time last year, and that was the COVID crash. Uh, that was one of the craziest events in market history, um, arguably, right? Um, and, and one thing to know is not all crashes are the same. So uh, just because the market, uh, like here, let me put a drawing up real quick. So we could see that from highs all the way to lows, the SPY fell around 35%. That does not mean that the SPY will fall 35% with the next market crash. It might fall 10%. It might fall 45%. It might fall 20%. Not all market crashes are the same. Um, they're all different. And a lot of times market crashes happen because of what's called a black swan event. And basically it's just something that no one's expecting, right? So if we see some crazy, unpredictable, um, some event happen that no one's expecting, a lot of times that, is, that, that can be a cause for a major market drawdown. So uh, keep that in mind. And another thing I want to point out is different ways to take advantage of downwards movement in the market. One, of course, you can always play like SPY puts or you can short stocks in general, but uh, different ways to take advantage of uh, a fall in the market. Let's say you don't trade options. You can always buy SPXS. Now, I do want to warn you, this is a leveraged ETF, uh, which is a bear ETF for the S&P 500. If we look at a two-year chart, this thing just, just basically falls straight down all the time, except when there's a market crash. So for example, we could see back around February and March last year, this thing went from $115 all the way up to $288 in about a month. So whenever there's big drawdowns in the market, um, SPXS can be a great way to take advantage of that. But one thing is it is a leveraged ETF and it will decay um, over time. So it's not a good long-term hold at all. It's great for day trading, uh, great to trade on uh, big red days for the market, but you definitely don't want to hold this for the long term. And something similar to that is UVXY. So it's a leveraged form of the VIX. So we could see when the market crashed last time, this thing went from about uh, $10.50 all the way up to $135. Again, it is leveraged, so it will decay over time. So it's not a good long-term hold. Uh, but let's say you're an options trader. You know, of course, we have the basic SPY puts or Apple puts or Tesla puts or whatever. But you can also do like VXX calls, which is basically um, this just follows the VIX index. Uh, the VIX, which is VXX, holds um, VIX index future. So basically, when the VIX index rises, uh, basically most of the time, the VXX also rises. So um, when the VIX rises, it just means that investors are scared and there's like uncertainty in the markets. And um, a lot of times the VIX rises when the market falls. So we could see if we look at the VIX index back in last year, uh, back last year in uh, February of 2020 and then March of 2020, this thing went from about $15 all the way up to 85. And that presented a ton of opportunity. Uh, same thing with the VXX, went from about $13 all the way up to 78. So 
Um, these are good ways to uh, good potential um, options to buy like VIX calls or like v, uh, VIX futures or um, SP access just for uh, if you're buying the stock. Uh, these will pop if the market does fall. Uh, that's just one way to take advantage of a falling market. Um, of course, you can like short stocks too. Um, but really what I'm looking for is if we do see a big correction in the market, um, most of the money, in my opinion, will be made from buying great stocks at great prices. So if we see a really big dip in the market, you can pick up some shares of, you know, Apple, Tesla, um, you know, any companies you want to hold for the long term, and you could just buy those shares up and hold them, you know, and then um, that you could just hold them for years and years and years, and it'll uh, do pretty well for you. So um, there's a lot of money to be made in market crashes. There's a lot of wealth transferred during those times, but you just have to be prepared. And uh, one thing to keep in mind is every crash is different from a past crash are all unique. And a lot of times market crashes happen when nobody is expecting it. So we might see the market come all the way back up next week to like, we might see the spy come all the way back up to 390 and it might just hover around that level for a month or two. And then the market might crash. Like a lot of times it just crashes when no one's expecting it. So uh, be aware of that. And another thing I really want to just um, emphasize is you're going to see a lot of crazy posts on uh, Reddit and YouTube and Facebook of, you know, people in, you know, February 2020 and March 2020 who turned, you know, like $1,000 into like $300,000 betting on a market crash. And uh, I just want to really emphasize that um, the market crash, you know, statistically speaking, um, it, like the market's most likely to continue up than it is to fall down. So um, just be careful of that. And then another thing is you like, let's say you buy VIX calls. Um, these are some pretty risky trades. Like um, just really, really be careful in market crashes. No one knows 100% and you never want to over leverage yourself. You know, the market can uh, can just as can, can easily stay up. So just be careful. Um, never over leverage and you know just just be careful overall uh, like I said a lot of wealth is transferred but you know be smart be careful um, I hope this video helped you if you have any questions or any comments let me know in the comments down below but other than that thanks for watching